everyone, this is Kesh and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my hair. As you know, my hair um, has been natural since February of this year. I did Big Chop number 2 and I want to talk to you today about the products that I used to get my hair straight. And the reason that I um, straightened my hair is because I wanted to get um, a trim. So that's why I had it straightened. I went into the beauty supply store, discount beauty supply, and I wanted to get the, what's it called again, beautiful textures, um, texture manageability system. But I saw this one in there also. This is the African Pride Revolutionary Straightening Texture Manageability System. So I saw this kit. And the price for this kit is $875 plus tax. So it came to $1,040. This one is a little bit cheaper than the beautiful textures. Um, for some reason, I've not done my research, but I kind of figured that these two products, they probably come from the same place because I have the leave-in conditioner from the beautiful textures and I have something else from the African Pride line and they kind of... They're very similar in scent and in texture and so on. So I figured, um, why not pick up the cheaper one? Then? Let me show you what comes in the kit. It comes with step one, which is supposed to be a gentle shampoo. And step two, which is an interactive leave-in conditioner. And it also comes with these two things, which is A is a is an anti-humidity anti-reversion shampoo and this is the conditioner so when I want to wash my hair I would use these if you would like to purchase the larger bottles these are also the bottles for these are also sold in the beauty supply store it also comes with a pair of gloves that I didn't use and instructions on how to use the product they also have this african pride product in a child formula a formula for children <laughs> okay so let us talk about the products now all right so the first thing i did was to cleanse my hair with the shampoo it says that it is a gen um first of all the day that i cleansed my hair i was wearing a high puff so i had gel and ORS smooth and hold pudding in my hair. I use this to wash it out. I think for some reason it says gentle, but it made my hair feel so dry, like squeaky clean. I don't like how my hair feels like that. It felt really dry. It's a good thing that I had detangled my hair before I shampooed it, or it would have tangled like crazy because this thing right here it made my hair tangle and my hair was just so dry. But anyway, I did use it twice i washed my hair twice because i had products in it and even though i washed it twice i kind of felt like the side right here had a bit of residue left i didn't look in the mirror but it kind of felt you know so i washed it out and made sure but this thing lathers up like i'm not using a shampoo in a long time that lathers like like this and i still have a, about this amount left in it so it can be used for more than more than two times Alright, the next thing I did was to section my hair and add the interactive leave-in um, conditioning treatment. This leave-in conditioning treatment, now I know why they added the gloves. This, it added back some moisture to my hair, not soft and all moisture, but it did give me back some of the moisture. However, on places like my ears and a little bit in the back, I could feel a bit of tingle. Not as harsh as when you're doing a relax, relaxer, but I could feel a slight burn. I don't know why. Hmm. I felt a slight tingle, but this you're supposed to leave on for 20 minutes and wait the 20 minutes. So I washed it with shampoo, added the leave-in treatment, and I sat down for 20 minutes with it, and my hair started to dry. First of all, oh, after you shampoo it, you blot dry so you leave some of the water in it because you don't want it too dry when you add the leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner did say you're not to oversaturate you're just to ensure that you get all the strands from roots to 
um, tips but do not over saturate so that's exactly what I did even though when I added it most of my hair I could feel a bit of moisture back in it the back of it I felt like it needed some more so I went back in and I did add a bit of uh, a bit more to the back of my hair but there's still enough product left in here for me to get another use out of both of these all right so after I did that and I waited for the 20 minutes I do not have the flat iron that I would like to use to um, straighten my short hair right now so I went to a salon is close to my house just right up the road here like two houses away so I went up to the salon and I had a lady straightened it for me she blow dried it and then straightened it she has the same blow dryer that I have which is the Con Air Yellow Bird blow dryer let me go for it and show this is the blow dryer that she used the same one but she it comes with two attachments looks like this comes with two attachments this one and this one she did use this attachment when she was blow drying it after she um detangled with a white tooth tooth comb so that's what she used to blow dry my hair I don't, I'm not sure the flat iron that she has, but it seems really good because she only did two passes. Um, for each, each time she parted, she did two passes and it came out um, pretty straight because I have coarse 4C here, very thick and coarse 4C here. So I'm actually surprised that it came out so straight and it feels really soft. But at the time I did, it was the, it, by then it was like seven o'clock and. It was night and I had to come back home. So she just curl it up a little. I'm going to insert pictures so you can see. No. I don't have pictures of the first day I wore it. I have pictures of the second day that I wore it. Alright, so I'll show you the pictures of the second day that I wore um, my hair straight and what it looked like. And all I did when I went when I was going to bed was to just wrap it like you would normally do um, relaxed hair. And if you're not sure how to wrap hair, I'm going to find a video. Not my video, but someone else's video and link it below in the description box so you can see how to wrap your hair at night. But I didn't add any product to it, no oils, until the second day I added a bit of argan oil to it to just give it some shine. But um, it's still pretty shiny, well not as shiny as I would want it to be but it's still shiny and it's very soft. Um, the only thing is because my hair is so short, there is not much that I can do to it. Or at least not how I would want to do it so I'm going to try to add some flexi rods today and see what the curls will look like but I'm pretty pleased with the results because when I came home with the product this product right here I did watch some reviews on YouTube and read some videos and persons complained about how coarse and how stiff their hair was after using this product i think i found one and not only that there were limited videos about this product um on the on youtube and limited videos limited reviews anywhere online so you know i kind of had to search for reviews and i hope that it did turn out good and it did turn out somewhat okay so this morning i went on the road to transact some business and i was passing a lady and i just said you know what um a, a salon i was passing a salon so i just went in and i had my hair clipped because that's all i wanted um to do to it so i had it i, had, I got a little trim also so i'm going to just give you a 360 so you can see what my hair looks like now even though it is not styled at the moment it's really i just brushed it back and went to bed last night i was just too tired i didn't get to wrap it so it's not styled right now so this is what it looks like all right overall out of 10 i would give this product a nine the reason i'll give it a nine is because the shampoo says gentle cleansing shampoo and it's not gentle it's very harsh so it made my hair really dry and also the interactive leave-in um it felt a little bit tingly as i said before like i was getting like a, a slight burning sensation in my ears and in the back of on the back on my nape area around the back 
so uh, that's why I took off that one point but overall it's a pretty good system um, the real question now is will my hair completely revert to its natural state when I wash it and if it doesn't then we'll see but I will um, have that in another video for you thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video share with all your friends and please 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 subscribe to my channel thank you for watching